Well, another mail call. This is a, uh, oh, by the way, how the hell are you? It's good to see you again. It's always a pleasure. This one seals up, comes in like a uh, airtight pouch that you would get, you know, some other type of substance in. Oh, tactical gears. Uh, seems to me you see a lot of these on eBay. And you see a lot of them on Amazon. I failed to see them anywhere else. I forgot to look it up, but it's probably Chinese made. Now, it has a pocket clip. So, I don't know why it comes with a pouch. But, you can mount the pouch sideways. Or you can mount it up and down. The pouch can be used for other things. So, what the hell? I prefer the pocket clip. You got a nifty little box. Comes in nifty little bubble wrap. This is a frame lock. I like the texturing. It, it, it has a, an antique like, you know, worn texture to it. Your screw is nothing fancy. It's a typical slot. Slot on both sides. Huh. You got a nice pocket clip. Deep pocket. Not really too deep. You got some nice hardware with some Torx bits right here. It's a flipper. Titanium handle. Up and down sideways. Comes in tip up, which is good. Your handle is 4.75 inches overall. It's eight inches, eight inches overall. Opens up nicely. It has ball bearing uh, uh, roller ball thingies. 4.4 ounces. Your blade is a 3.2 ounces and vacuum heat treated. Has some nice little design to it. I like the way it was swept up in the picture. How the thing kind of like got a little art going on. I like that. Makes a good little fidget knife too. It opens and closes nicely, but the lockup is, is super tight. Easy to open, easy to close. You can fiddle with it all day long. Speaking of fiddling with something, let me show you. You're going to be amazed at this. I've been playing with this Medford. Watch this. Yeah, you remember some of you before this thing pitched me a fit. I don't know if my thumb's gotten stronger or I broke it in. Probably a little bit of both. But it's getting better day by day. No oil. Just working with it and breaking it in. I like that. Anyway, back to this. You got a Tonto Tiv. This is a CPM D2. Uh, supposedly they added CPM to D2. I don't know why. But look it up if you want to know what all that means. You got a little indention right here. I don't know why. Your centering is spot on. It seems like a lot of knife makers lately are listening to us and saying, well, we're going to center this properly. Now, again, I'm not a fan of flippers, but this thing opens up nicely. It's nice and tight. It doesn't like, and it doesn't feel sloppy or loose, which is good. Some flippers I like, some I don't like. What I really like is an assisted flipper. Yeah, now this is your ZT. ZT is stout. But if you look at it, this tactical gear is a little bit longer, just not as stout. CPM D2 frame lock. It's got two screws right here. The reason it has two screws is there's a little steel plate along with this titanium give it a little bit of more strength overall fifty four dollars on Amazon I'll put a link in the description that's a nice little knife sharpness leaves a little bit to be desired yeah this is gonna this is gonna take an edge some knives are like that not all knives just this one let's see hair 
Well, I kind of take it back. This is my hair. So it's shaving sharp. Could be just the humidity, because as soon as I stepped out, I was a puddle of sweat. So yeah, it's probably just the humidity. We're looking at a... Feels like a flat grind. It does, it does. Yeah, flat grind on both, all the way around. So, still, I could use a little stropping. But still, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's just humidity-soaked paper. So there you have it. Short little review. Tactical Gears, $54 on Amazon. Nice little fidget knife. Seems to be well done. Tough. Yep, I don't know if the point would break off, but what's the point? <laughs> I got fucking jokes. So, tactical gears. Stop by. Tell them the backyard knife dude sent you. I'm sure they'll laugh and then say, so? Gotta go. Very busy. We'll see you.